Hello and welcome to this um, new episode of uh, networking series. So um, this video is to reply actually to a comment of somebody watch uh, one of my videos and uh, post a question. He wants to know whether it was technically possible to uh, configure multiple IP addresses on one single interface. Well. Um, no, I don't know exactly what he wants to do with those different IP addresses on the same interface uh, but there's something that uh, can be done with loopback addresses so if we look at this network here structure we see uh, here there's um, a switch and we have three different computers attached to the same switch yet b all of them have different gateways so we see here we have we are going through the default gateway 1.1.1.1 on the next one we are going through the default gateway 2 and on the third one we are going through the default gateway 333 yet all of those IP addresses are they all belong to the same subnet which we see here so yes it is sort of possible i don't know exactly if, if this is something like what um our friend wants to do uh but yet we can ping from here we should be able to ping um this interface as well as 10.0.0.129 and all the other nodes of the network even the 1.1.1.1 is available from this workstation we might not be able, able to ping let's say from here 1.1.1.1 uh, because we don't have routes to that gateway we have routes to uh, all other gateways over here but except that one so I'm going to just um, quickly demonstrate how I set up these um, loopback addresses in the router. So this time I'm going to do it for this network over here. I will set up a switch. We'll connect the switch to the router. And I will then, okay, let's keep this right here. And I will connect two more computers to this switch so one two and we're going to bind it with cables right here this we're going to connect on this interface so the loopback interfaces they are virtual they are internal interfaces and they can participate in routing so yes probably this is something like what um, our friend wants to accomplish uh, so now we have these three computers we're going to access this router and we're going to define three loopback addresses on this router so we're going to enable oops there's something wrong now I have to wait <laughs> uh, for the loopback to finish uh, I might take a little while so in the meantime I can just um, configure these uh, stations workstations with um, IPs of the same range the 192, 192.168.0.130 oops the array is taken okay we need to take the 29 that case 192.168.0.129 shoot what is going on this also already taken okay <laughs> Uh, let's see if this is already um, control shift so here we are again um, then we go 
configure terminal to interface inter oh wait a minute conf t uh, whoops enable sorry conf t interface so this is the syntax simply I'm going to create the loopback one and then I will assign the loopback one the IP address one one with a with this subnet mask now chart and I will do the same for the loopback two and the IP address for this one will be simply 2.2.2.2 and now shut down and we do the same for the IP address 3 I mean did I um, sorry 3 and then we take the 3 dot 3 dot 3 dot 3 not shut down so now if we ping 3 dot 3 dot 3 dot 3 oops um sorry ping uh three dot three dot three dot three what 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 wait a minute what's that protocol uh ping three dot three dot three dot three it responds so now we should be able to assign those ip address from here let's start from uh, the IP 130 of this uh, segment 192.168.0.130 sorry that was 30 what is going on it's telling me that the address was taken already okay let's try the 31 192.168.0.131 and that one is not taken yet and this one go is going to go out via the one the one the one okay so we should be able to ping the routing should not be in uh, distress at all um, so we are pinging from this via the default gateway 1.1.1.1 which is a, a loopback address we're still able to route all the way towards this network over here so we can do <coughs> the same exact same thing for the other two interfaces and in this case we're gonna take the IP address uh, 132 again this one will go <coughs> via this default gateway and we do the same for the third one let's call it 33 um, 128 and the default gateway should be 3.3 .3 and then we're going to ping another network in this case I will ping this one down here ping 172.168.0.129 and it replies the same way it replies from the one the 10.0.129 network over here and all with this um, loopback addresses as default gateway so i hope this can yeah and um, clarify some things about the how loopback addresses can easily be set and one of the possible applications um yeah hope this was helpful thanks for watching cheers